Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to introduce my nubbies and my shorties. <laughs> Today, we're going to focus on the nubbies. This nail was broke way back in the quick, and I put the poly gel on it to, um, you know, help grow it out and, you know, get it past the alley point. But now I've got super thinnage right here it's discolored it's funky looking and I have just decided I don't want any patches any poly gel I don't want anything on my nails right now but nail polish so we're going back to nubbies and shorties so I'm going to be using my naked manicure system by Zoya today it comes with a base coat a perfector and this is the pink perfector and then the white what do they call that um, tip perfector and then the satin seal top coat. I'm not good at doing French tips freehand so I'm going to be using some of these little guides. Hopefully I can get them on there since this is my non-dominant hand I'm going to be using and uh, we're just going to get on into it. I have clean, filed, trimmed, everything. I've done everything to these. They're ready to go so um, we're just going to get on into it. Okay, I am going to focus on this nail today. I'm showing you every, every step I'm doing. I am going in with the base coat, the Naked Base, and I'm going to do two coats of probably everything on these nails, because they're in, especially this one is in, so, but like I was saying <clears throat> before my camera cut me off, this nail is in really bad shape. I don't remember the last time. I had a nail that was so pitiful, but it's, you know, we're going to, we're going to try to treat it right. So I'm going to finish up these and do these other ones and I'll come back when we get back to this, this nail. Alrighty, we're back for round two, coat number two of the base coat. And we're just going to put one more coat of that on there. This nail is so crazy thin and worrisome, so just figured instead of fighting it and causing more damage putting other products on I would just go and do something because I have to have something on my nails um, hi Woody how you doing um, I have to have something on them especially to protect these this weakness right here it is really really <laughs> well you can see the damage but it's it's totally there and I'm hoping by using this naked manicure system that it'll be less noticeable so I will be back when this dries and we're ready for the next step all right for step two we're using the naked manicure perfector and I'm using the pink one it does come in other colors there's a I know there's a purple one I've got it um, I think that's for like when you've got stained looking nails um, but today we're using just the basic kit that I bought um, many, many years ago. And I am trying to cap these, and I can't even call them free edges. Uh, I'm just trying to cap the ends. <laughs> I know normally I'm like, cap the free edge. Um, there is no free edge on these. But you do the best you can. So I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to do a second coat of it. Alrighty, we're back for, excuse me, blurry, um, back for coat two of the pink perfector. And I'm just going to slap this on here. When I say slap it on, we're going to apply this as nicely as we can. It's so hard for me to get used to painting short nails after them being long. I don't know how much product to load on my brush with it. And Woody is back again. I'm going to do some more cleaning up after we get it. Now I'm going to let this fully, fully dry so that I can use the um, guides for the French tip part of it. I'm hoping maybe doing just a little skinny French tip on the very ends of these will help them look a little better, especially this one. I don't know that you can see it on camera as how bad it really, really, truly 
really is, but we're going to give this a shot. So I'm gonna let these totally dry, I'll be back. Okay, so now we're gonna try to line these up. I'm awful at this, um, but you know, I'm not gonna get any better if I don't practice it right. So we're gonna give it a shot again. Um, I was trying to mush them down, and I don't even know where these nail vinyls came from. They could have been some I got at Walgreens or one in a giveaway or something. There's no packaging. So I'm going to go in with the white tip perfector and just give my little nubby nub nubs the illusion of having a free edge. <laughs> this is a tricks, you know. And you're going to want to move those vinyls just as quickly as you can. And since my nails are so short, I'm painting my whole fingertips. And we're just going to get Woody to help us with that. Already they're looking better. So now I'm going to go in with that satin seal top coat and just seal this in. I don't know that I show it on here, but I did do two coats of it also, especially on that really weak, fragile nail. Now I have boogered it up a little bit. You can see the brush stroke on that middle nail. Um, I wiped some of the polish off, but we're going to do something else to this. We're going to stamp on it. I'm going to be using You Are Beautiful 18 and Clean Colors Metallic Sapphire and Metallic Red. I'm going to do like a smushy stamp. I'm going to use that Maniology Stamper and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And I didn't want to totally, totally cover this up. I wanted kind of like a major negative space manicure because I still wanted to see the French tips. So we're just going to do this image here. It's kind of like swirls and swoops. You guys know I love made some swirly swoops. And we're just going to do all the nails the same. Just give a little something something. I am cleaning that plate off with pure acetone and a cotton ball using my cotton claw. And we're just putting drops of those two polishes down on the plate just kind of sporadically. And we're going to kind of blend them a little bit, but I didn't want to over blend them. So I give them a couple of swipes and let it go. And we're going to plop that on my pinky. There we go. They're already looking so much better. I'm going to use some tape to get this up. I've, in the past, I've noticed these clean color polishes do clean up really, really well with the tape trick. Um, so, you know, Keep that in mind if you stamp with them. They're they're really easy to clean up. And the ninny inside me says I must use my cleanup brush and some acetone. Just a little bit, just straighten out that just a little bit. But I am really, really pleased with this manicure. I was, you know, I try to look at, you know, when I have to shorten my nails as new beginnings, but you know, this one was just a little more than that. I'm going to be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat over the stamping. I'm going to seal that in before I do my final top coat. Look, there ain't no free edge there, but the girl's trying. Got to give her prompts for that. Then I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard Quick Dry Top Coat from Vibrant Vinyls. And then this one will be completed. And I do hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up here in just a few. And I would love to hear your comments on this. And let me know what you do when your nails are nubs or shorties. I'd love to hear from you. Right, just leave me a comment down below and we'll chat about it. There's that swatch photo I promised. I think it turned out pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.